If you're someone like myself who's into Hot Wheels, Matchbox, or just 164 scale diecast in general, then you may also follow the YouTuber Bear Metal HW. If this is the case, then you may have also noticed within the last couple years now his channel has been very much inactive to say the least, and many have wondered what has happened to him. Well, since I tend to do my own online investigations from time to time, and because I'm very much a fan of Bare Metal's work, I decided to do some digging around and see if I can understand what has led to his disappearance. So to begin with, Bare Metal HW, whose real name is Zach, has been on YouTube since December 5th of 2012. In his early days of YouTube, he commonly made videos looking at 164 scale diecast and making customs, in addition to also uploading tips and tricks videos showing his methods of customizing diecast replicas. From what I can tell, it wasn't until three years later that he began doing redline restorations on Hot Wheels cars. Another popular series he had was his Mad Max customs, one of my favorites being his monster truck custom he did in collaboration with YouTuber Sick Diecast. Now, I was a little late to the party, as it wasn't until 2018 that I first stumbled across Zack's channel after watching one of his Redline restorations. Like many, I'm sure, I was hooked onto watching his channel after that, and I can honestly say I've watched some of his videos dozens of times just because of how much I enjoy them. He certainly had a way of doing projects and creating content that could always keep your attention, and certainly has created quite a fan base over the last decade. When it came to Zack's upload schedule, he tended to try and upload on a weekly basis, sometimes uploading two videos per week. I took the time to go through all of his videos and pinpoint the exact dates which each one was uploaded. As you can see here, he started uploading a little over a week after he created his YouTube channel back in December of 2012. There were multiple uploads per week, sometimes even having two videos uploaded in the same day. Moving on to January of 2013, you can see there were multiple uploads each week here as well. In February, we saw Zach's uploading schedule slow down a little, but you'll see he did upload two videos on the 3rd. In March, again we see quite a few uploads, and another occurrence of two uploads in the same day, however, April 7th of that year would be his last upload for quite some time. It wasn't until December 29th of 2015 that Zach would upload another video, being over two and a half years later. In January of 2016, we saw the same uploading schedule of multiple videos in one week come back. This can't be said for the month of February, and even March saw another slowdown. April had weekly uploads again, and you'll notice there was even two videos uploaded on the 4th. Now you can see for yourself what uploads were like from May through July, but after this there were no new videos until the end of October. You can also see a few uploads for November and December, and going into January of 2017, we can see there were quite a few new videos for this month. I'll show the rest of the uploading schedule for 2017, and I will note that there were no new videos for the month of October this year. January of 2018 was off to a good start for uploads, showing at least one video a week. February also had a couple uploads as well, and pretty much uploads were at least coming on a monthly basis, getting about one or more videos each month through September. In October, this is where the uploads seemed to pick up, as we were getting videos every weekend. In November, there were weekly uploads, and the month of December also saw this as well. Getting into January of 2019, there weren't as many uploads as the previous months, but one thing I did notice was that pretty much throughout the whole year, each month had about two to three videos, which seems to me like Zach was trying to keep a consistent upload schedule during this time. In January of 2020, the first upload for that year was on the 25th, and another upload came about a month later on February 23rd. The next upload was in March, with another video being uploaded in April. So it seems like we're looking at monthly uploads being one video per month, however, after April there would be no new videos until August 17th, and this would be the final video for this year. The next upload would not come until May of 2021, and there were actually two uploads within this month. Another upload followed not far behind, being at the beginning of June, and there would be one more upload towards the end of July. 
This here is the last video to be uploaded to the channel, and is the last time we've heard anything from Zach. So what happened? Why did the upload stop? Why has Zach not posted any more videos, or at the very least an update? Many people have been asking the same questions, but there have been a lot of different answers. Now, I do want to mention that like with most people on the YouTube network, Zach does have a life outside of the internet and doesn't have time to be in his workshop or sitting at his computer making videos 24-7. Therefore, it is understandable why there would be times where you wouldn't see any new videos on his channel. Another thing that should be noted, this isn't the first time Zach has been away from YouTube for a long period of time. Going back to my research into his upload schedule over the years, you can see he was absent between the dates of April 7th, 2013 and December 29th, 2015. That's two and a half years he wasn't on YouTube, but he still came back and continued uploading the same content just as he had before. So that being said, maybe he's just taking another long hiatus from the channel. Or maybe it's a bit more complicated than that. Another contributing factor could be YouTube's enforcement of the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, aka COPPA. Now I don't want to go into the nitty gritty details of YouTube's COPPA ordeal, but towards the end of 2019, YouTube announced that they would be making it mandatory that you had to mark your channel as made for kids or not made for kids, or go through all your videos and mark each one individually. The details on this weren't very clear, and in the end, it basically comes down to anything that might be appealing to kids must be marked as made for kids. Now this might not seem like such a big deal to most people, but content that is marked this way generates limited ad revenue and the audience cannot engage with it either because comments are disabled. With Zach featuring Hot Wheels and other diecast cars on his channel, that's something that kids can find appealing and that puts him at risk of YouTube coming in and saying that the content he uploads is child directed. Zach did show concern for this, even mentioning in a video back in September of 2019, Last thing, I seem to be running afoul of the YouTube algorithm lately, so it would be a huge help to me if you could like and share this and my other videos. I have a great group of subscribers, and I'm not turning to the constant subscriber begging that proliferates YouTube. If you're not aware, a lot of changes are coming down the pike, especially as it pertains with kids and what they watch on YouTube. You may be hearing a lot of, this video is intended for 13 year olds and older, that will be tacked onto everyone's videos in the future. I can fully understand Zach's concern, and in fact there were many YouTubers at this time with the same worries about their own channels. Whether your channel and or videos are child directed or not, if they feature something like toy cars that kids can find appealing, that puts them at risk of being marked as made for kids. Sadly, this sort of thing has even led to family friendly channels disappearing because despite being rated for general audiences which both kids and adults can enjoy, they're deemed as child directed regardless and the restrictions I've mentioned earlier are put in place on them. Now, I could rant and rave about YouTube enforcing COPPA for hours on end, but that's a topic for another video, another day. Moving into 2020 though, this was a crazy year both on and off of YouTube. I'm not going to say what was going on this year, but I'm sure we all know what I'm referring to. In addition to this, starting this year YouTube tightened down on enforcing COPPA and every channel was required to comply at this point. When it came to Zach's channel, he was uploading one video a month starting in January, and in February he uploaded part two of his 18 Redline Mustangs restoration. In this video, he mentioned something in regards to the issues he was having with the channel, but unfortunately I don't have access to the original audio, and I'll go into detail about this later on. I do, however, still have a quote of what Zach said in that video, being, I realize I've not put out as many videos as of late. I'm trying to fix that. It's a result of work and the fact that YouTube is not promoting this type of video at the moment. In fact, if you're a small channel starting out in this hobby, it's quite the uphill battle. So if you like these types of redline restoration videos, I would encourage you to check out some of the other channels on offer. So apparently at the start of this year, this is where Zach began to notice changes in the YouTube algorithm, which in turn was having an effect on his channel. Not only was this affecting him, but also other diecast collectors which were producing content on the YouTube network. Zach also recommended checking out other channels that were doing redline restorations as well. I'm not sure if he said this as a means to help promote these other channels, or if maybe it was a foreshadowing of things to come. Still, he did say he was working to upload more often, and in fact when he uploaded a video in March, he made this statement. Speaking of that, I have several videos in the works. I'll be trying to get them out in the next two weeks as I know a lot of you are stuck at home at the moment. 
Now, Zach said he had several videos in the works, yet he only ever uploaded two more videos that year, one in April, the other in August. However, going back to the one in April, he does mention something that I think explains some of why only a few of his planned videos ever made it to upload that year. Several of you have asked about my upload schedule, why I don't upload as often as I did before. I'm working on a more in-depth answer that I plan to put in a future channel update video. But the short answer is that YouTube is no longer promoting this type of video due to, I assume, COPA. I'm experimenting with ways of getting around this. For example, these are now diecast cars and not a particular brand of diecast cars that I don't want to mention in video. I'm currently trying to figure out if my channel is marked for a slow bleeding death or if I can skirt around the issues. Time will tell. This doesn't seem to just be affecting me either. Looking at other customizers' channels shows a decreased view count for them also. This during a time when streaming content has never been more popular. So you heard it right there from Zach himself that he was having issues with low view counts on his videos. Fewer views means less revenue that the video makes, and also the less views a video gets, the less it gets likes and shared with others, which also affects view count as well. When also taking into consideration that the Bare Metal HW channel has over 320,000 subscribers and most of these videos aren't even pulling half that number in terms of views, it's honestly a pitiful sight. Even a similar channel like Marty's Matchbox Makeover shows a decreased view count on videos as well. And I know for a fact that views have been down for many tubers lately. In fact, Jim Zim, another channel I follow, had well over 22 million views in August of 2021, but in the same time during 2022 had only achieved 8 million by that point. Jim's channel is bigger than Zach's by over 160,000 subscribers, and yet even he is having the same problems, and even he said about possibly calling it quits with YouTube. I'm even seeing the same trend with Jim's channel having over 480,000 subscribers, but most of his recent videos within the last year aren't even pulling 100,000 views. As a smaller channel, my numbers are much lower, but still, I too have noticed a decreased view count and a slowdown in ad revenue. And in Zach's case, if you're already making a decent income at your full-time job, is it really worth trying to chase a few extra dollars on YouTube when your channel just isn't getting the view counts it needs to make it worth your while? Zach even says he's not sure if his channel will survive with what's going on, and he's working on ways to try and get around the issues he's having. He also says he's working on a video that goes into more detail on why his uploading has slowed down, but unfortunately, this is the last time anything was said about these issues, as the last four remaining videos he uploaded in 2021 never addressed this or any channel updates for that matter. Pretty much, this is where any information from him basically stops and where all the questions start. Now, I myself have reached out to Zach over the last three years and even sent him things, but never gotten any response. In early 2020, I mailed out some Hot Wheels red lines for him to either restore or use for parts, and also in 2021, I sent him a miniature diorama that I built and was actually inspired by a couple videos he made. Despite this, I never heard anything from him about either of those packages I sent, but I can confirm that they were delivered to Zach's house. I also sent him a Christmas card in 2022 and 2023, but again, heard nothing from those either, and I've got no way to say for sure whether they were delivered or not. So it seems that despite my attempts to reach out to him, I've heard from him just as much as everyone else has. I've also been like many others, I'm sure, and have occasionally been checking back on the Bare Metal HW channel to see if there's any changes or updates, and surprisingly, I did happen to notice something. If we look back on Zach's uploading schedule for the months of November 2019 and February 2020, you'll remember he uploaded videos in relation to his project on the 18 Redline Mustangs he was restoring. However, looking at his channel now, being January of 2024 at the time I'm recording this, those videos have been removed. The last known date that these videos were available was May 15, 2023, so they were taken down within the last eight months. The question is though, did he remove these videos or were they taken down by YouTube? I do know these videos had music in them, so it is possible they may have been removed because of copyright. Zach has had issues with this in the past, even when the music used came directly from the YouTube audio library. If he was the one who removed the video though, why was it done so quietly and he never said anything about it? I'm sure others are also wondering what this means for the project since the videos were removed. 
I've also taken the time to look at the Instagram page for Bare Metal HW, and nothing has been posted there since August of 2020. Patreon, however, does show there's a total of 35 members, and two paid members are still present. There's only one tier, being for $5 a month, which offers an exclusive video each month that won't be posted to YouTube, and instead will be devoted to answering patrons' questions and presented on a more personal level. As I'm not a patron, much less have an account, there's nothing else I can see on this page, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably just as vacant as YouTube and Instagram. Sadly, this is where my investigation ends, as I really haven't been able to find out anything else after this. As it stands now, Bare Metal HW has been MIA for almost three years, and at this time, I really don't have a definitive answer why he's disappeared from YouTube. Whether it's because of the algorithm, or COPPA, or maybe just things going on in his everyday life, it's pretty clear that something has taken away the drive for him to upload videos. The worry many have is that he's given up on YouTube, but for a channel that made it over 10 years now and has well over 300,000 subscribers, it would be disappointing to see him just pack things up. Still, there's a lot of evidence that seems to suggest that this is what's happened or is going to happen. Personally, my hope is that someday Zach may come back to the channel, as again, this isn't the first time he's been away from YouTube for a long period of time. All any of us can hope is that he's alive and well and putting priorities such as family and work first. I'm curious to hear everyone else's thoughts on Bare Metal HW's disappearance, along with the things I've mentioned in this video. Do you feel he's given up on YouTube, or do you think he's just taking a long hiatus? Also, feel free to talk about other topics related to Bare Metal HW in the comments as well. Maybe one of the biggest things everyone can discuss is how much you miss his presence on the YouTube network. You can all show your support for Bare Metal HW's work and that you still enjoy his content and would like to see him make a comeback someday. It is a possibility that in the near future he may get back to uploading videos again, given that it has been almost three years now that he's been away from the channel. It's just a thought, and I'm sure that only time will tell. Anyways, if you've lasted this long, I want to thank you all for watching, and again, feel free to comment down below.